Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type With Me. In this episode, I will talk about Marble.js, a TypeScript framework for Node.js backend applications. When we go to the website of Marble.js, you will see that it's a functional reactive Node.js framework for building server-side applications. And it's been based upon TypeScript and RxJS which is very great, right? I really like ArcGIS. I also like TypeScript. So I think this is a great framework to build um, TypeScript backends on Node.js. So let's go and create a basic Marble.js backend application. So first of all, we need to install Marble.js core and RxJS, right? So we will do that with yarn. And this will add it to our package.json file. Great. And of course, we need to create a new file. And we'll call it http.listener.ts. And we will put the following code. So for that, we need to have a logger, we need to have a body parser, and we need to have HTTP listener. Of course, we need to import HTTP listener. And we also need to import our middlewares. So if you are familiar with Express, you know that they have uh, middleware. Well, Marble.js has it too. So we need to install the logger and the body parser middleware. One thing that we need to do is to say yarn add middleware logger and middleware body. So that will install um, these two packages, right? And then we can port them. You can also very easily write your own middleware. These are just streams, RxJS streams, and you can plug them in right here. In this video, I don't gonna show you how to do that, but I think it's very easy to do so. So check out the documentation of Marble.js and feel free to write your own middleware, right? Then of course, we need to use the HTTP listener.ts. So we can do that by constructing our index.ts or our starting file, right? And we will put the following code in there. So here we have a create server from at marble.js slash core. And here we define our port, our host name, and our HTTP listener that we have defined um, previously. And then we do a server.run to run our server, right? But again, we don't have any functionality yet. We don't have our API. So that's something that we will do right now. We now can create is an API dot effects dot ts right and here we can define our effects and our routings and then for that we're gonna create an hello effects um just a hello world when we go to um a certain part we will get an hello world right so for that we also need to import http effect from marble js core and we also need to import map2 from rxjs slash operators and 
Great. So now we have our hello effect, All right? And then we can define const hello effect factory from marble chess dot match part and then we can do dot match type which is a cat and then we can say dot use hello effect which is our hello world effect right great like you already can see is that hello effect is basically a stream so we um, listen to the request stream and then we do a pipe on that stream and we say when we have a request uh, for that we want to map it to hello world and we want to put hello world in our body right and then we use it here by saying when it matches the part slash so our home screen and it has uh, the type the method type get it needs to execute the hello effect of course we can extend this so i can add something else right so in this case i add a url stream and um, you see i don't use a hello effect here or an http effect i just directly write the code of the http effect so that's another thing that you can do and also we don't use map to but we use map from uh, rxgs so we get our request or http request uh, object and we can do other things with it for example here ask the dot url from um, the request object and we can do something with that Another thing that we can do right now is combine these two uh, URL endpoints. And we can say that we want to start from slash API slash version one, right? We can import now combine route from marble.js core. And then of course we need to add um, API door here to our effects. So we do so. I import it. Great. Another thing that's nice to mention is this is just the marble JS core functionality. But if we want to have something else, we can very easily um, change this code towards a more Node.js friendly uh, one. I will show it directly to you. So we remove this uh, code and we replace it with this one. So this uses the HTTP module from Node.js, right? So when I build this, you will generate the JS files from uh, API effects, it to be listener and index.ts. So now we can say node index. And we get that our port is already in use. So I need to change it, for example, to 3333. Doesn't matter, right? And I need to build it again. Now I can do node dot error server is being started. 
And then, of course, I can go to localhost 3333 API version 1. And when I go to that, I get this uh, result. When I go to slash URL, I get this result. We are at API version 1 URL. So this is a little bit of an introduction of what's possible with um, Marble GS. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or um, watch other videos uh, on my channel about TypeScript, web development uh, and Node.js. I hope to see you soon and thank you for watching.